Okay, in this session, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a custom UI action within the service operations workspace, specifically when a user clicks on the more actions button. Um, as we can see here, are a few that I've already created. So when a user selects the UI action, it should open in a new browser tab. So I've previously already selected the incident management for service operations workspace scope, and I'm in the default update set. If you'd like, you could also create your own update set to save the configurations that we'll be doing in this video. So we'll start off by in this in the application navigator, we can search for UI actions and navigate to system definition UI actions. Okay. We'll start by creating a new UI action. Select new. We'll now enter a name for our UI action. So I've already I already have a few that says this, so I'm just gonna name this one oranges. And then for table I'm gonna select incident. Then I'm going to deselect show insert. I'm going to select client. And then within the on click field, I'm just going to go to my notes because I had already created this previously. So I'm just going to copy and paste the on click um, function there. And then within the script field, I'm going to copy and paste the on click script. Okay. And then I'm going to scroll to the top of the form again and select um, form context menu checkbox. Then I'm going to just save this firstly to make sure we don't lose any information. Then I'm going to scroll down to works, the workspace related list and I'm going to select the workspace form button checkbox as well as the workspace form menu. And then within the script, I'm going to paste my script that I already previously configured. So I'm just going to paste it there. And not to forget, this checkbox for format for configurable workspace needs to be checked as well. I'm going to click save. Then I'm going to navigate to my application navigator. Select all within the application navigator. I'm going to enter actions. This takes us to our now experience framework application. And I'm going to go to the module called form action layouts. Okay, I'm going to specifically search for incident. Okay, okay, I spelled that wrong. Incident, then come enter. And here we find the incident um, UX form action layout. And we can see the action config is within the service operations actions workspace. To open this form. And as we see on the related list, um, the UX form action layout items related list, you know, the previous ones that I've configured. So important to remember, don't click on new, because if you do create a new, a new um, form action layout item, it's going, the UI action is going to appear twice on the service operations workspace. So click on edit. And we should see our UI action here. Here we can see it's oranges. And we move it to the right and we select save. 
So now we go and test our work configuration that we've done. We're going to open up the service operations workspace. Okay. We're going to navigate to an incident again, incident record. Select all. Go to the specific incident record. And when I click on the more actions button, here we see our oranges UI action. When I click on this, a new browser tab should open. And the our new browser tab opens up. And we are redirected to the ServiceNow community because this is the URL that I had used within our configuration. As we can check, let us just have a look. Is and here we can see this is where I placed the URL that it's currently redirecting to. Thank you.